Hi, I'm Esan Khan, a senior AI software solutions engineer at Intel, and in this video, I'll be talking about synthetic data generation, the process used to develop our latest NLP model, PolizeGuard. The first video in this series introduced PolizeGuard, so be sure to check that one out as well. There is a link in the description. What is synthetic data and what are its use cases? Synthetic data generation is the process of creating data using the statistical simulations or AI models. Its use cases include augmenting limited data with realistic variations, privacy preservation, balancing imbalanced data sets, and simulating variables. With synthetic data, companies can accelerate development, improve model robustness, and experiment with data that is otherwise unavailable. There are some concrete example applications of synthetic data. Designing autonomous driving systems. Because waiting around for a deer to somersault across the highway during a hailstorm just because you want to collect real data isn't exactly scalable. Training a language model on medical records. Since apparently patients don't love it when their lab results end up in a startup's demo. Or designing customer interaction models without access to private conversation logs. Now that we've covered the benefits of synthetic data, let's explore some of its limitations and how we can address them. Lack of authenticity. Synthetic data may not capture all the nuances of the real data. This leads to models that perform well in testing but fail in the wild. To overcome this, use a hybrid approach. Use synthetic data to augment real data, not replace it. Also, always use real data sets for validation, even if the training has used synthetic data. The next limitation is overfeeding and bias. Models trained on synthetic data may overfeed to patterns that are not present in real data. Also, synthetic data may inherit biases from the model used to generate them. To overcome this, we can use data augmentation techniques to introduce noise into synthetic data that mimics real-world randomness. We can also use multiple language models to generate data. Check out the link in the description to read our blog post about this object. Also visit the project's GitHub and Hugging Face pages, join the community, download the source code for the synthetic data generator, and try it on an AI PC or Intel Tiger AI cloud. In the next video, I'll discuss how PolightGuard was fine-tuned on our synthetic dataset utilizing Intel Gaudi AI accelerators. So stay tuned. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.